Listen. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Let's jump into your reading and see what does spirit need you to know today? What do you need to know today? Also, please ignore the nail polish once again. I cannot find my nail polish, remember? I don't know where the hell it's at. So, I'm either gonna have to buy more or the nail polish remover will somehow appear when I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Let's see, what do you need to know? Okay, we're moving up. You're increasing your power and status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. Yeah, I literally just saw someone getting a bigger office here, so you could be moving. Maybe you got a promotion and you, you started to get like, maybe you went from a cubicle, now you have your own office, or someone here to get in their own space. This could even be, there could be an upgrade in, say you work from home, or there's something here where you have, if you had work, or if you had to do work, say in your, let's, let's say the place that you have, you have to do it in your bedroom, right? You have to work from home and you there's no difference in space between work and leisure, right? Like energetically, it's tied here. So you could be having a upgrade when it comes to your living space. If you do work from home, you might, wherever you, you're moving to, you could be getting an office, right? You could be having that extra, another room or an extra space to separate the two. Um, or for those of you, if you are at a company, I do feel like you did get an actual office, so that's cool. Or you will be getting one. Maybe this hasn't happened yet for some of you. Holy Spirit, what else does a collective need to know? does a collective need to know right now? Okay, so we have many choices. You have options, even if you don't see them right now. Get creative and look around. Pull a card for each option to see what's best. Okay, so you got other cards as well. It says, you need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. It says, work you want may not be in reach now. You can take a temporary position while waiting an opening. Your new place offers job security. So there could be a situation where there is like, maybe there's a hiring freeze or a job freeze right now. Or this could be that you are in a state, you're in a position right now where you're not seeing, like things feel a little bit tied up right? Maybe you are, this is giving me very much someone who is consistently working on something and it doesn't gain traction, but all of a sudden it picks up like that. Maybe it's like a year, two years, something here where you get recognition, but it took, it took some time or it took a while or it felt like it wasn't, something wasn't getting off the ground here and you've been working really hard at it. And maybe You've been seeing like all the different options. You've been really working to get whatever it is that you're doing right now to push it out, to push it out to the public, to push it out towards an audience, to push it out towards your friends, to push it out towards family. Maybe this is literally like a book you wrote that you're getting people to read. Maybe you you allowed a couple people to read like your draft or something like that, or you're, you finally sent it to... Um, I don't know, something here where you, someone could have like read or taken a look at your work before it was released or something like that. Or if this is like, sorry, I wanna make sure you guys can see. If this is like a position at work, it's almost like whoever was looking at your, I feel like someone here was being monitored at work. Yeah, to see if you were for if you were the right option for a position, to see if you were so it's like you had to be you were actually monitored for a little bit or you were people were keeping an eye on you. Cause you were or you are possibly a candidate for some type of job position or promotion here. Ooh, okay. We have saving, we have protest. 
of okay. Real estate, okay. Live and learn at the bottom. This is actually really great energy because I feel like wherever you're going to be moving to, moving up, like you, someone here could literally, you could absolutely be moving into a new home or you have a new office space. Like I said, maybe you have a, a studio for your art, for your writing, for your work, whatever it may be. It's like, a, it's to me, it just feels like a separate place. Like there's no longer, if you were doing all of this at home or you are doing all of this at home, maybe you're trying to start a business. Maybe you're trying to, I'm just getting the feeling like everything, the energy was all kind of like mixed. So it's like, there was no, there's no line here to like work life <laughs> balance. It's almost like there's this there needs to be a distinct split where you can have space and your energy for leisure for your for rest and then there's also a split where it's like you also need to have a space a dedicated space or a dedicated area for where you do work because when it's coming together i'm feeling that it can lead to some type of like blockage or it can make you feel a little bit blocked or you're locked in a situation or there's i just feel like it's energetically there's loss of momentum when it comes to this. And it says here, harmony under expression. I do believe that you find stability, you find balance here whenever you do have a career in communication or something where you, you have, like it says here, expression, writing, blogging, communication. It's literally like you have someone to go back and forth with or there's someone that's listening or reading what you're writing, what your thoughts are, what you're putting out there. Like there's someone on the opposite end that has like a, they're directly receiving this information that you're putting out. And it leads to harmony here. It, it really does help balance things. When we have here the options and the choices, so it says, even if you don't see them right now, get creative and look around. And then we have the protest underneath. So you possibly had to fight for a certain position that you're at, or it felt like you had to really work hard at this job. You had to really put in a lot of effort here. Hold on, let me, I kicked my cat out and she's just crying, crying, crying. And uh, ay, 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 okay. But this also makes me think that you had, I feel like you had to advocate for yourself or you had to stand up for yourself in certain situations. Like you had to, this is not a, so if you, okay. If this is about an actual work environment where you're at work, this makes me think that there had to have been a lot of, maybe there was a manager or some, a supervisor here. Oh my gosh, Koya, watch out. A supervisor here who you had to really, it's almost like they made your life complicated or more complicated than it needed to be, or they made your job harder than it needed to be, or they just possibly nitpicked at certain things that you did. Because I feel like you had to take a stance where you were where you had to defend your work here or your work had to defend like your work had to defend it right like you your work spoke for itself so it's like you put in that work you put in that effort you put in i'm hearing resilience as well so you're probably very resilient over a situation uh -uh 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 -uh. leave it stop it are you gonna get kicked out again uh, for those of you I, with the saving underneath the moving up, some of you might literally be saving to move. You might be in the process or you're thinking about it and you're, you know, you're taking the steps possibly financially to get it situated. Maybe you're like, okay, by this time, I'm going to have this amount of money to put down. Maybe if you're putting a down payment on something or, you know, you have to pay a deposit. It's like you're saving up right now to make that move. Uh -uh 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 -uh. Go. Don't eat that anymore, please. For a lot of you, though, you will find... I do feel like this is a work from home. So I don't know if this is like... 
your actual job. Maybe you half the time you work from home, half the time you're in the office. It's not gonna resonate for everyone or maybe what's going to happen in the future or what you're striving to do is have work, like you're able to be stable and make money while also being at home. So there's something here, again, you could be doing a business. There's something here where things have, it's like an origin, things started from the home. And I do think that this is going to grow. You see the trees here in the back even? Like this is something that's going to grow. It's going to fully emerge here. So live and learn. Experience training development. This is all in development right now. I think that you are, there's so many, this is trial and error. There's so many things that you've been having to learn on your own here. And it's all trial and error. Like you've made mistakes. You've had to fix those mistakes or that you've had to, learn how to move you learn how learn how to adjust Ooh, sorry <laughs> you learn how to push through through certain things here that you can't control and there's also again with this locked energy so if you've been feeling like this isn't starting as quickly as you would like i do feel like it will pick up here once there is this distinct like this separation or once you have a space where it feels like you can have the creative juices flowing you know what i mean like i because i do feel like it might be hard so if you guys are working from home if you work remote you could be trying to utilize the space in which you have your job for creative purposes as well but again it's like that distinction i don't know if like the energy is all is all bad or it needs to it just needs to be separated here because if you are experiencing a block or you're experiencing like it's not at the place that you want it to be right now creatively speaking i do feel it's because there is this this clash of energy this clash of space here and that's not to say that that can't be like people can't work and and play we're in the same area right in their home like if you have a if you have if you have a desk or space and that's the only place you can go like you gotta utilize what you have right but i am seeing like the enter it just it needs a distinction here it needs us it needs its own separate space here and that could be what's causing a little bit of blockage here that could be what's causing um like you needing to wait for something because the energy it's not it's just not at I how do I explain it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying. What else? <laughs> Holy Spirit, please help me because Ace of Cups. Yeah, I sorry my alarm went off. <laughs> Which sound the alarm is like Oh, I'm hearing it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for something. What's it time for? For the collective. Holy Spirit, what is it time for? Ooh, okay. Yes, it's time for some balance. It's time for some justice. So the universe is letting you know that things are going to be situating themselves. Like things are going to start balancing themselves out. The how do I say not the inconsistencies the inequalities that you've been seeing in your life the I'm even hearing like microaggressions man you could have been dealing with a supervisor or boss here who was really just trying to pinpoint trying to find something against you but guess what <laughs> I feel like you're gonna have the last laugh over a situation you might, for some of you, you might even have taken their position. There might've been a situation where they were let go or they were fired or there was something that was discovered. They could have even gotten demoted and you took a position over. That's not gonna resonate with everyone, but for those that does resonate, oh my gosh. Let me just tell you that this person is not happy. They are very upset, but that is the way, that is the way that things are. Like, I'm sorry, but this person, whatever they were putting out, the universe was like, uh-uh. And 
someone has very strong ancestors here, ancestors coming through, that they were not going to tolerate this. They were not going to tolerate this behavior and they were not going to tolerate. I feel like this person, even if your blessings were coming in, if someone was in a position above you, it's almost like they were wanting to block these blessings. That is so weird. What the hell? If this is like a boss or a supervisor, like why do they care so much? What the fuck? Um, there can also be a Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Capricorn involved in this. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm getting right now. Or you're a Libra. Karma is hitting this person. If there was someone that was making things difficult for you, whether you know this or not, because again, this could be someone in a higher position in your company. Maybe you don't even... Maybe you've never even talked to this person, but someone who could have been monitoring your activity from a higher level. If you were like on someone's radar, your management tried to put you on the radar for something. I don't know what this is, but it's like someone was watching you and they are getting karma right now. And you've had to, again, you've had to live and learn. You've had to learn through certain experiences of failure. You've had to learn through certain experiences of um Things that were blocked from you. This could have even been a temp position that you were at. Maybe this was like a seasonal job, a temp position. Oh my gosh. So strength coming out. It required, like I said earlier, resilience. It required a lot of resilience. It required a lot of strength. Oh my gosh. Wheel of Fortune popping out. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to, I'll shuffle in front of y'all. I'm just, my cat is like in the way. So there could also be a Leo involved here. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm getting. I'm just getting, it's like, why does this person care so much? Like why, it's so fucking bizarre. Because I feel like for some of you, like this is not even an energy that you really even knew that well or know that well. But they have some type of like, they feel some type of way towards you. I don't fucking know why though. Maybe if you are, maybe you were in a position before where you have, someone from your work could be mad that you work from home as well. I don't know if this is a company that was trying to get people back in the office and they just weren't able to, or there was, had to been a compromise. I don't know. I really don't know what this is, but it's like someone not happy with what you're doing, but I don't even feel like it's a hundred percent related to the work that you do. Like, it's like they're trying to find, or they were trying to find anything they could on you so they could either get you written up so they could get you so they could block certain blessings for you so they could make your life more difficult so they could affect your shifts so they could affect your numbers if there's something here with like numbers maybe you have to there's something like a point system or numbers or something like that i'm just getting someone was trying to step in in your way on something or they were trying to criticize or be overly critical because no one is above criticism, right? Like no one's above criticism, but when you're trying to be overly critical against something that doesn't even, or it doesn't even require it. Like, this is so weird. I don't know why the energy just shifted like this. With the Wheel of for Fortune, ooh, talking about shifting, it's like you did shift this situation though. This situation is shifting to work in your favor. Karma is not gonna, like the universe is not gonna allow for this to happen and your ancestors 100% are not gonna allow for this to happen. Someone here could have an ancestor that is a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Or it could be a Taurus. Yeah, home. Okay, so someone, literally an ancestor stepping through. They're letting you know that you're protected from this situation or from this person. And you are going to find stability. Like, that is the main message of this, I feel like, from for the takeaway from this message is, like, Ooh, someone could even be suing someone. You could actually even be suing or someone was trying, someone was trying, if you did anything like something legal, right? Or maybe you had to take something to court or maybe you work in the court system. I don't freaking know. But it's like something, someone tried to find something against you or you had to like sue a company or you had to sue someone. It was, again, it's maybe like someone like monitoring you. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Holy Spirit, what is this? Because with the four of wands, this makes me think of like 
the four corners, the four pillars, like at home. This is like a home thing. I know that there is like celebration going on in the back. However, I mean, maybe this is like letting you know that you are going to win over some type of case here. Maybe that is where their bad karma is coming. If you did have to take something to the court here, to court here, it's almost like you could have won. You could have won something and they ended up having to, like their karma is that they had to pay something or they had to, I don't know. Some had to get laid to rest. Some had to, had, had to be put down. The world. Yeah, someone was, this could have been someone looking at your, like, Someone from the company spying through your web. I don't know what the frick this is. So maybe this is like privacy or security. Like someone at your job or whatever it was they were. I'm hearing inappropriate, illegally. Something could have been done illegally. Something could have been very inappropriate here through the internet, through like online. But it's tied to work, so that's so weird. I don't know what the frick. <laughs> Can I have one more clarifier? Because this is, this shifted crazy. Like what the hell? Triumph, oh my gosh. Look at robbery, someone tried to steal something from you. Maybe someone tried to like look through or, what the hell is going on? One more, let me get one more, cause like the the drama, like the drama of what's going on right now, like the energy that I'm reading, it just feels so, whoa, that's too many. <laughs> oh my God. Someone was literally trying to bully you, someone was, you are like a target at work or something. I don't know what the frick is going on, but someone tried to, this boss or this, someone tried to steal a position from you. They tried to take money from you. They tried to be, oh, the crows. But yeah, this is making me think that you called something out. You pointed something out. You were doing things the right way, okay? You were doing things exactly the way that you needed to do them. But for some reason, either a boss, like a single individual here who had an upper position, or if this is a company, they try it like maybe even HR, like in some type of like internal investigation or whatever it may be. You could have been trying to be um, intimidated. Maybe you want, maybe you literally went against a certain company here and you had people while you were still working who were trying to intimidate you or who were trying to tell you like, or if you, if you put in, if you put a complaint in towards a boss here, like say someone here made a very inappropriate comment. Maybe someone here said or did something that was very unprofessional, that was unacceptable and you you let it be known and so there could have been retaliation you could have been dealing with retaliation from work and we all know that that is not acceptable but it does happen sometimes right so someone here tried to and this affected your money or this could have been like they tried to affect your money here your money your stability could have been affected for some of you, you you possibly even had to move. If you did, if you quit from this job, it's like you had to move physically. And maybe this is where that promotion comes in, where it's like the new job that you have now, you have a bigger office, you have more space, you're, you're or you're able to work from home regardless, yada, 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 right? But with this past energy here, you have triumph. There's success, victory, and achievement, okay? And this other person, let's see what's going to happen to them. Let's see what's going to happen. Let me see what's going to happen with this other person. So we have imagination. 
What's going to happen to this person? What is their karma? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're going to see a direct hit on their finances. And they're imagining all the ways that they could have done something differently. Or they're imagining like what they did and what they said that caused like let's just use this as an example say there was a wet there was like a wet floor or something management didn't put up a sign you fell and like cracked your head or something like you broke you injured your back or you got injured at work or there was something here where something was supposed to happen there was a responsibility that someone in a higher position needed to take and they didn't take it and somehow it fell to you like you were the one that got a direct hit from this you were the one that had I don't know, like you, you were negatively affected by this. And so you had to stand your ground, protests come in and you had to stand your ground on something. You had to stand, you had to really put in that strength. Like you had, there had to be been resilience here. You had to fight through something. You had to fight through microaggressions, discrimination. You had to fight through bullshit even. If someone here was lying, if there were people ganging up on you, there was a situation where you were made to feel like you were the outcast in a situation when in fact you were right. And then you have people talking about you. But guess what? Guess who gets the last laugh? Yeah, bitch, you. And I don't know what's going to happen to them. I don't even think that you're really concerned. All you're concerned about is that things are going to... You're really just concerned that the universe is keeping tabs on what's going on and that you are moving forward. Because you don't want to be in that locked position. You don't want to be in that energy. You're ready for that shift. And that's what's happening right now. So you've gotten out. You you have successfully moved away. And I believe, I do believe that your ancestors had a play in this. Like, because I do feel with this energy specifically, someone here has like, is the ancestors is very strong. They keep coming to mind. So someone here has very strong ancestors and very protective ancestors that are coming through that helped with this, that assisted with this situation. So that is what I have for you guys today. Um, actually, let me just do one advice card. What is the advice that you have for the collective here, Holy Spirit? Ancestors of the collective working for their highest light and their highest good. What advice do you have for them? Okay, perfect. New beginnings. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So this is something that is going to be this new project. This could be at the beginning stages of it or it, not even a project, but whatever phase you feel in life, whatever it is, there's the energy around you feels new or it feels like a brand new start or you can breathe again. Like you don't have to, uh, this could be like the end of like a court thing, right? Like you, maybe you had to keep going to court or there was something here where it's like a back and forth. If you guys reached a settlement or it's, it's that sigh of relief. It's that... I can finally start fresh. I can finally start over. I can finally do this. I can finally like breathe. This is what it feels like. So it's like, it's a fresh energy here. And I do feel like this is gonna be very, 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 very nice for you. And it's gonna be very different than the last position that you had. That it's gonna feel different. It's gonna show different results. You're gonna see different results here. It's like everything feels new to you. It feels fresh. It feels exciting. And I think some of you might also, if you have won a court case here, you have reached a settlement. It's like, you're kind of like, some of you could literally, I'm seeing someone skip. You don't have to necessarily be skipping, but to me that symbolizes like, you're in a good mood. This is a good mood. It's like, you're like, mm -hmm -hmm. you know, just skipping down the street. You could have like wreaked havoc. Like there's fire behind you, right? Like people are pissed. Everyone's pissed. There's something going on. Like you could have wreaked like the company's in shambles now because of their own mistakes and they didn't want to do whatever X, Y, and Z. But you're not even worried about that because that that's not even your problem. Guess what? That's their problem. That's not even your problem. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that is what I have for you guys today. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was entertaining at the very least. Um, these videos are for entertainment purposes. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy, hydrated, and blessed. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.